This video will show you how to make virtual ensemble videos using iMovie. Step 1. Record yourself using whatever device you would like. It's important to save some space at the beginning so people have time to set up while they're listening to your track, and that you count yourself off so it's easier for you to line up while you're editing later. Once you have your original recording, you're going to open up your iMovie and put a background up. Doesn't matter what background, I usually use plain white. Make sure it's as long as your initial recording. Then you're going to drag your recording in on top of the white background, like this. You're going to select Picture in Picture. That puts your recording inside the background. You're able to manipulate the recording however you like. You can make it bigger, smaller. You put it wherever you want. You're also able to um, crop, fit, and adjust the volume. I don't claim to be an expert in this, um, and iMovie is not the best for volume. It seems from my projects it's best if you do the treble voices first and save bass for last for the best sound quality, unless you want to go crazy and use some sort of audio editing software. Um, it does work in GarageBand. It's a little bit extra hard to line everything up afterwards, um, so I will not be able to help you with that, but I can show you at least how to make one of these cool videos and make it sound somewhat okay. So once you have your first video in your background, you're going to click File, Share, and Share as File. Save it to your desktop so it's really easy to reference later, um, and wait for it to export in iMovie. Back to a blank iMovie project, and you're going to pop the file in that you just created. So I like to put just a title theme in front so you have a little bit of space for coordinating files, and if people are playing off of each file, um, like we did, we basically improv off of whoever did the file before us. Um, it just gives everybody a little bit of setup time, so it's important. Anyway, now you have your file and you're ready to add another part. Now that you have your file that you just exported in iMovie all ready to go, you're going to add your next part. Just like you did before, instead of putting it on the background, you're going to put it on the video that you just made. When you click the top video, you're going to click Picture in Picture, and it's going to go inside like it did before. You can manipulate it however you need to. Make sure you kind of planned out your space depending on how many players you have in every video. And now you have to line up sound, which is definitely tricky, but not impossible. Basically what I do is I make the file that I'm adding louder than the original file. And then I work to line them up. If I need to move over a little bit. And I just keep moving. If I really need to mess with it, you can click um, right click and click split clip. You can also detach audio, which is helpful depending on how hard you have to work to line up all the audio. You're going to do the same thing you did before where you do file, export as a file. I like to save every file as the next name, so song one, song two, song three, whatever you're doing. And you literally repeat the step. So this is now going to be your next file. You delete everything in iMovie that you were just working on, you keep your setup time, and you throw the next file in, and you just keep doing that until you create your piece. You can click either file and click the sound button. Depending on what you want, I usually um, raise the volume of the top clip as I'm trying to hear the part and how it fits, and then eventually I go into the main part and I click lower volume of other clips. It kind of does a good job of figuring out what to do. You are also able to just screenshot pictures and put it in the exact same way as you would do a video. So if you have um, an ensemble logo that you want to put on, you can do that. And then basically you just export it and you have your movie.